So I know that when it comes to the house of BDK, they've been picking up on a lot of steam lately in the community. And I personally own about 12 or 13 from the company. So in today's video, I'm gonna be ranking them in order. I'm gonna be letting you know what my favorites are. So these are my top 10 favorite fragrances by the company BDK Parfum. I'm excited to get on with this list, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin this list and I tell you what my top 10 favorite BDK Puff Bomb fragrances are, I do wanna mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like top 10 lists just like this, but also reviews, unboxings, giveaways, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Also, please, while you're at it, make sure to leave a like down below for the YouTube algorithm. Now, before I get on with this list, I do wanna mention that if you are interested in purchasing any of these fragrances or sampling any of them, getting a decant, you may do so at scentsplit.com. I have partnered up with them for this video. All of the links are gonna be down below. They have a lot of really hard to find designer and niche fragrances. You can get decants of these fragrances for really good prices, and they have a wide range of size options. So definitely check them out really good customer service, really fast shipping. And so we have this company, BDK Parfum, and these fragrances are all for different seasons and different occasions and different purposes. And so it's kind of a varied and diversified list, but nevertheless, I'm excited to get into this list to let you know what I think of each one of these. If I had to rank them and let you know what my absolute favorites are. Uh, also, you might've seen a video previously on my channel where I did something similar to that. And so I'm gonna leave a card to that video up here so you can kind of see how my taste has changed. But in terms of my favorite options, you know, it hasn't changed too much. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the list. So the first fragrance that I wanna talk about is called Bouquet de Hongrie. Now this fragrance is this fruity, strawberry, pear, and rose combination. I love smelling this one on my wife and she likes wearing this in another fragrance from this list, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, but this one is very youthful, flirty, feminine. It definitely gives off this youthful vibe, like I mentioned. And I think a lot of that has to do with the gentle quality of the rose. It's not too assuming and it's not too overbearing. It's very easy to get along with. And I personally really enjoyed this one. Again, this is Bouquet de Henri coming in the number 10 spot. I do find it to be quite feminine leaning. Another one that I think is feminine leaning is Tuberose Imperial. This one is very strong on the Tuberose, very starchy as well. This one did not make the top 10. I love this fragrance, I think it's beautiful. However, I do find it to be a little feminine leaning. The next one that I wanna talk about is another one that my wife loves to wear, and this one is called Gris Charnel. Now this one is a little bit on the spicy side, and so if you like fragrances that contain cardamom, if you like tea-based fragrances, definitely check this one out. Also, I like the iris that's in here. It's not too strong, it doesn't come across too lipsticky or too starchy or anything like that. It has a touch of sweetness in the base as well, which I really enjoy, kind of like this vanilla tonka bean sweetness. And this one is a really awesome spicy iris fragrance. The next fragrance that I wanna talk about is called Nuit de Saab. Now, the opening of this fragrance is awesome. It kinda has like this boozy opening. This really is another rose fragrance, but the rose is so cleverly hidden and disguised among all of the other ingredients in here. It's actually very nicely done. This is also quite spicy as well. It also has a little bit of cardamom in here. It also has nutmeg, sandalwood, it's creamy. There's a bit of sweetness. It's a little boozy in the opening as well very nicely done, a little bit on the woodsy side. So it's kind of like this woodsy, rosy, spicy, and creamy scent. A little boozy in the opening as well. Nuit de Saab is a great one. The next one that I wanna talk about is Oud Abramad. A lot of these have a gold cap to them, you'll see, so I have to remind myself. Oud Abramad is this Oud, rose, spicy, cumin, ginger, citrus, and olibanum fragrance. I know that that's a weird combination of notes, but it works so well here. What I love about this one is that it's not your typical oud rose combination. And I know a lot of times when we think of fragrances like those, we think of Montal or Mancera or something like that. This one, on the other hand, it's a little spicy. The cumin is way in the backseat. This one is more about that ginger and olibanum combination. So the ginger and the frankincense, I think is a really nice addition to the oud that's in here. Very, very nicely done by BDK Parfum. Oud Abramad, not your typical oud-based fragrance. 
The next one is Sel d'Argent. This is gonna be one of my most worn fragrances this summer because it's one of the two BDK Parfum fragrances that I think are perfect for the summertime. And yes, they come in a blue bottle and they're part of the same collection. But Sel d'Argent, Sel is in the name, so it kind of gives off like a little bit of that salty vibe, but it's also very citrusy as well. So you have the grapefruit, you have the orange, you have this Tunisian orange blossom note, you have the ylang ylang in here, you have a little bit of cashmere on and ambroxan and isoe super in the base. So it has a lot of these contemporary ingredients being used in the perfume industry that kind of give it that modern freshness, but it's a long lasting fresh fragrance. I personally enjoyed this one. Cell d'Argent is one of the fragrances that I would absolutely recommend, especially for the summertime. If I had to do like a top five summer BDK fragrances, this would definitely be on the list. The next fragrance that I wanna talk about is another one with a gold cap, and so I have to remind myself, yes, Creme de Queer. So this one is a leather-based fragrance, and believe it or not, it has pineapple and birch. So as soon as you say that, you think Aventus, right? Completely different, night and day. This one is actually a little bit closer to Bulgari Black which is an Anique Minardo composition. If you're familiar with that fragrance, you're gonna have a pretty good idea of what this one smells like. You have that suede leather in here, a little bit of the pink pepper, kind of adding that spicy rosiness to the mix. A little bit of the birch in the base, which actually isn't too smoky or anything. It's really smooth. You have like this creamy vanilla in the base as well, not too sweet. It's really all about the leather in here, but it's basically like a creamy, sweet, slightly smoky suede leather. It smells very expensive, very refined. Another one with the gold cap, we have Tabac Rose. So this one, exactly as the name says, it's tobacco, rose, but it has like this plum and chocolate combination in here that is to die for. It's so good. It's gourmand. At times I kind of get like a praline note from it. Nothing like that is listed in the note breakdown, but I definitely get that fruity sweetness, kind of like this dried fruit in combination with like this oud patchouli base, and there is actually patchouli in the base. And it's sweet, but it's oudy, and it's a little floral at the same time. It's a really unique fragrance. And then the next one that I wanna talk about is Wood Jasmine. This is one of my favorites of all time. As you can see, there are a lot with the gold cap, so I have to remind myself of which one is which. Wood Jasmine is this jasmine-based fragrance, of course, but it's really more about the plum and the resin. So we have two fragrances back to back with plum in it. This one has plum, it has resins. The resins can come across smelling a little bit medicinal. And so you have a little bit of like this benzo and labdanum combination coming through, kind of giving it like an ambery vibe without so much of that vanilla in there, which kind of sweetens up a lot of amber fragrances. This is definitely more on the sticky, a uh, resinous side, very like a gummy sort of um, sticky, sappy resinous fragrance, but that plum note that's in here really catapults it to a new realm. I love this one. Number two fragrance is one of my most recommended fragrances for the hotter weather, and this one is Citrus Riviera. You've heard me talk about this one on my channel many times before. The thing I love about Citrus Riviera is that it's bright, it's fresh, it's uplifting, it's citrusy in a few different directions. You have the bergamot, you have the neroli, you have the orange, and then you also have like this like aromatic thing going on in the heart, a little herbal, a little aromatic as well. And it definitely just reminds me of being on vacation. This one reminds me of like sitting in a cabana, enjoying a really nice cocktail on a hot summer day. Cell d'Argent reminds me of being in the beach and just, you know, letting the waves carry me away. It's like, it's, it's the same mindset, but at the same time, it's like two different locations in the same tropical environment, if that makes sense. But the number one fragrance, and this has been a favorite of mine for more than a year now, now that I think about it, it's crazy that I've had it for more than a year. I put quite a dent in my bottle as well, as you can see. And this one is Rouge Smoking. So this one is Cherry, Heliotrope, black vanilla husk, from what the note breakdown says, but you know, vanilla. Um, tonka bean, gourmand notes. It's such an amazing, spicy, sweet, cherry, vanilla, gourmand fragrance. And I mean, the color of the liquid might confuse you a little bit, like what is this gonna smell like? But when you think of cherry, it really makes sense. It clicks, right? It's an awesome fragrance. If you like 
that sweetness of Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf or Rehab by Inicio Parfum, and you like that gourmand spicy vanilla dry down of Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, you're going to love this fragrance, Rouge Smoking. If you haven't tried this one yet, I would definitely recommend it. I know it's received quite a bit of praise in the community and I personally love it. And it's a fragrance that I will never be without in my collection, but in any case, Thank you so much for tuning in at home. I really do appreciate it. I hope you took something of value from this video. These have been my top 10 favorite fragrances by the company BDK Parfum. I do understand that there might be like one or two that I do not own. I apologize for that. I have a couple on the side here, like I showed you, Tuberose Imperial would be an honorable mention. And then of course, we also have Passessoir, which is an awesome, awesome fragrance. But something about that also leans a little feminine to me, even though I personally love to wear it, but I can see how a woman might probably enjoy that a little bit more than a guy. Same thing can be said about Bouquet de Hongrie. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did take something of value from this video, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. And once again, make sure to leave a like down below for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye.